Hi everyone, okay, so welcome to part three um, of my Ivana colour range review. Um, so throughout this video, I'm going to be discussing reds. Um, so that's really exciting for me because if you know me, you know that I love reds, I love gingers, I love anything with a nice warm tone. So I'm really excited to get trying these ones on, to be honest. Um, so the one that I'm wearing now, is Plumbery Jam. Um, so there's four in the reds in, in the Havana range um, and this is definitely one of the most unique for me. I have never um, tried, like I've never had a Plumberry week before so I'm really quite liking this. Um, the roots are really dark actually, so dark that I, I thought it might have put me off just because I'm not used to wearing like a dark wig. Um, but I think it blends perfectly with the with the plum colour. So I'm just going to do a quick 360 so you can really see that nice ombre from the roots. And the, the best way that I could describe it really is as a dark purple um, mixed with some dark red. So there's a really nice blend of colours in there. But you can see how that ombre is beautiful as it comes down the side there. So we'll just take you over to the window just so you can see a little bit more. So can you see how that dark root blends really nicely? So you can you can see that like purple hint coming in and it just gets lighter at the end and that's really really nice. I think it's just a subtle um it's like a subtle hint of of the purple kind of coming through at the top there but it just blends it in perfectly um and because of that i really really like the wig now one in the range which is quite similar to this um is crimson rooted now the color itself is completely different however the style is very similar just in the way that the roots are quite dark and then it goes into this gorgeous vibrant color um yeah like just look at that look at it when the light reflects off it i just think that looks amazing so i'm going to try that on now um and just so you can really compare the two because i'd say out of the four reds these are probably the most similar yet the actual colors are different if if that makes sense <laughs> so this is crimson and really the best way that i could describe this is that it is a copper tone yeah how gorgeous is that so the ends there yeah i would say is a nice dark copper and almost like a dark ginger but yeah it's really got that warmth to it it's really got a nice golden tone to it as well so i'm just going to do a quick 360. So again, I'm just going to bring it over to the window. So similar to how the Plumbery Jam is, you've got that really dark root and then that copper starts coming in at the top there and lightens towards the end. Um, into It's it's like a dark red mixed with copper. Um, but this is probably a shade that I would normally wear anyway if I was opting for a red or a gingery kind of colour. So I do really like this. So again, I just want to show you in comparison to the Plumbery Jam. So do you see what I mean in terms of how they are similar? They both have the really dark roots, but the actual end colours are very, very different. So we've done Plumbery and we've done Crimson. So the next one I'm going to do is Rusty Red. Now I'd say this is probably one of the more normal <laughs> the normal reds no they're all normal but one of the most kind of toned down reds um it's not rooted and you've just kind of got really nice reds and copper tones going all the way through it so it's a really nice warm shade um and i really do like a warm shade because i just think it, it brings back that color to especially someone like me with a pale skin tone so for anyone out there who suffers from a pale skin tone and i say suffers because it's not the best thing in the world <laughs> then 
you might like something like this just because it's got those warm colours all the way through. In fact, I can even see some blondes at the top there. So can you see those gold tones? So it's a really nice blended colour all the way through. So you've got a mixture of light browns, caramels, coppers and some reds. And I think it's that blend that really makes it that rusty colour. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the last red of the collection. So now this one is completely different um, and it's actually the lightest, so I saved the lightest one for last. And this one is called, I think it's Melted, yeah, Melted Sunset. Um, and I can really resonate with that name because you can see how it really is like a sunset, the way it just goes from that dark to light but it's really golden really warm and it's got a hint of like pink and copper in there as well especially in that middle tone there so I really like this one it's completely different to any of the other reds in the range um, and it's also got blonde in it and you don't often kind of hear of red and blonde together so it's quite nice that this is within the reds in the collection so I'm excited to try this on because I don't think I've, I've worn many wigs in this shade either so it's actually Nice for me to see it too. There we go. Give it a quick brush through. So we're back to the to the wigs with the darker roots. But this, yeah, this is just perfect because it's the way that it's really dark at the root there and it really does have that ombre effect, the way it just goes through the colours of the sunset there, literally from coppery pink to a golden blonde. I hope my describing words <laughs> for these colours are efficient enough. So we'll just take you over to the window just for this last bit of sunlight, daylight. <laughs> so you can really see how the light is shining on those golden tones and it's just really, really warm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can say about it because I think the colour speaks for itself. Um, but this is definitely the lightest red in the range and although it's not a red stand out bright red it's definitely got those hints of strawberry blonde those like kind of gingery tones in there as well so yeah that brings me to conclude um from all the reds so just to kind of recap this one's melted sunset and it's the lightest one in the range we then go on to rusty red which is i'd say is the middle ground really for the reds um and it's just like a warm brown with some copper tones and that's really really nice and then after that one we go on to crimson and that's why you've got those beautiful copper tones and those really dark roots and then i would say the darkest but also funkiest of the range um is the plumbery jam and again you've got those really dark roots but it goes into this amazing purpley pink color with some hints of red hopefully you have found that quite useful um and those are all the reds in the Havana range um so yeah thank you for watching and um my last video will be on all the browns thanks